Hey what's going on guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Land Land 3x3x1 Super Floppy. So I got this from the SEMU store for reviewing purposes and you can get it for pretty cheap as well from the SEMU store for around 320 rupees which is around five dollars. Um, so this is uh, actually a pretty easy puzzle to solve. Um, now since this is actually a super floppy so it actually shape shifts and is uh, actually more easier to solve than the standard 3x3x1 floppy cube. Now since it's super floppy the edges can also revolve around here. Um, the stickers aren't really that good because um, if you notice some of them just want to come out when you're actually trying to shape shift. Uh, I'll, I'll show you one example uh, later on. So if you actually notice there will be stickers on this side of the edge as well. So when you actually uh, revolve one side around, rotate one so, uh, one layer, then you can uh, notice these stickers as well. So that makes the cube a bit more interesting. Um, So as you can see over there, that, that, that sticker actually wants to come off and even that one. So the sticker quality is not that great and the shades are a bit weird as well. So sky blue, dull orange, dull green, standard red, light grey and dark grey. So weird shades this keyboard has. And plus the stickers are actually polka dots as if you notice. These are actually stickers, they're not painted. So I'm just going to go ahead and scramble this out so you can see it can shape shift. So basically you can't do this because the mechanism does not hold that. Uh, so yeah, this is basically scramble, you could call this a scramble. So first thing you want to do is just bring it back into cuboid shape somehow. Um, or if you could just do that. Okay, so that's back into cuboid shape and oops, <laughs> I just did solve it. I'm just gonna... Um, do it this side as well so it becomes a good scramble um okay time for shape shifting so once again you can't do that turn okay so now I have to first get it into a keyboard shape so Okay, so that's a keyboard shape. Now, what you can do is uh, on the green side, all the greens are already there. But you want to get this one right over here because that's where it belongs. So that's there. And then that's the, the So the corners are done. Now, what you can do is pretty much just uh, if you revolve this side around. So yeah, that's basically the super floppy thing. So when you do this, the edges can actually just snap here and there. Uh, so this side now. Uh, sometimes it does lock up because of the stickers. The stickers just want to come in between. And then when you go ahead and do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about this keyboard because it doesn't have any corner cut. Maybe it does. I mean, no, it's not even going to corner cut. What's the big use? Uh, locking. Uh, it doesn't pop at all. I mean, there ha there is no reason for it to pop. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. But, yeah, this was a short review. It is smooth. 320 bucks. Uh, $5. Yeah. That's all I have to say about this. Okay, so if you want a size comparison, that's another story. So this is this is Ultimate Stock Zanchi, and that's the size comparison. So it's um, I guess it should be 58 millimeters this side, um, and I mean, yeah. It's, it's equal to one layer, it's not even equal to one, I mean it's one QB is bigger than the other QB. One QB of this cuboid is uh, bigger than a QB of a Zanchi, I guess.
I'm not really sure how to compare it. Yeah, it is a bit bigger. Anyway, uh, there's not much to say about this cuboid. If you want more unboxing reviews and news related to cubing, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Have a nice day, guys.